Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this video, I'll show you a program using friend function. So, what is a friend function? A friend function is a function which is defined outside of a class, but it is defined as or declared as the friend of a given class. So, let, let us see how does a friend function works. This is our program for friend function. These are our header files. These are our default format of our C++ program. So, in this class test, first we'll add uh, two variables, say int a and b, semicolon. Now, we'll use the public visibility for our uh, functions, which will be void get values. Uh, since we are defining it over here also so we don't need to give the semicolons over here so here here we will assign the values as a equal to 12 and let b is equal to 23 then after this we will define a friend function in it with the keyword friend okay we just need to give a friend function return type it will be integer and the uh, the name of the function that will be sum and then now your friend function will take the object of this class or a variable from this class and it will use that class to work or to work on whatever it uh, is given to do so since we are just uh, declaring over here so we'll give a semicolon which means the compiler has to search for the friend functions somewhere in our program now let us go and uh, write our sum function first of the, our friend uh, sum function the return type then the name of the function which will be taking two argument as test s so here we are defining it so we will not give the semicolons now we'll define our function over here we'll return what will return we'll return the s dot a plus s dot b we'll return the sum of a and b now give the semicolon this is how your uh, friend function that is sum is written now we'll go to the our main function and we'll do the main function part we'll use the class name say r so we'll use this object r dot our function name was get values so first you need to get the values get values okay get values is not taking any arguments so we'll keep it like this only then after that we need to display it like this see out the sum is this and uh, where are we getting the sum we are getting the sum from the sum function which works on R okay so this is how our main function will be done now get a character from the user to end our program give a semicolon now let's run it to see if it works uh, got a problem semicolon again you forgot you see you did not give the thing parenthesis oops this one now let us run it again got a problem somewhere get values r dot get values so what we defined v a l u e s v a l u e s uh, r dot get values oops big mistake big mistake you do it like this now run your program 
successfully run. The sum is 35. Let us check is if it is right or wrong. We gave A as 12, B as 23. 12 plus 23 is 35. So our program is running absolutely fine. So let us make some tweaks in our program and let us make it dynamically enable. So when how many times you run this program, it will give you the same result as 35. We don't want it. We want the user to give the values and we can we should be able to add them and we can display them. So we'll make our program run dynamically. So what we will do in our get values function we'll take two variables as uh, x and int y. So from where we'll take this values from the main function and we'll make a equal to x and b equal to y. Remove this two. Then everything will be same but in our your main function we'll declare two more variables. Let's say k comma l k comma l ok then what we'll do we'll see out enter first value ok we'll take that value and we'll store it in k then we'll take the see out enter the second value now we'll store that in l this is our l now the get values as we have made it to take the two arguments from our program so it will take two arguments that will be k comma l so whenever you run this program first you store the first value in k then the second value will be st getting stored in l then when you call this get values function the first value will be passed as k second value will be passed as l so these values which you are passing from here will go to our get values function over here and your int x will become k and your int y will become l so the value of k is the first value which user gave and this value will be the second value which user gave so again this here the first a becomes the first value b becomes the second values and rest is the same just the sum of them so now let us run this program to see if it works yes our program works so the first value let me give as uh, 2 the second value should be 4 so the answer should be 6 the sum is 6 ok so this runs fine so if you want to make it then uh, you can do some more things like the sum of Uh, sum of its a or uh, say k the sum of k and l is so uh, when you run this program the next time it will give you the output as this sum of k k's value then and l is something like this now let us run to see our output enter the first value say first value is 5 second value say 6 so the answer should be 11 the sum of 5 and 6 is 11 so we have a program runs correctly and successfully hope you understood our program and you liked our video thanks for watching guys